Good morning. Um, so let's talk about once upon a time. Now, just a heads up in case y'all didn't see my shirt. Once upon a time premiered during the Dallas Cowboy game, and there was no way on God's green earth I was going to miss that for once upon a time. And they premiere it every time we play at night. So what I did today with my jacked up sleep schedule it stayed up till it hit Hulu so that I could have a timely review of Season 6, Episode 1, Once Upon a Time. <clears throat> if you can't tell, my voice is a little fucked up. But anyway, a <coughs> couple different things. I should not have to tell y'all, spoiler alert, because why are you watching a review if you've never seen the episode? But, a couple different things for me. First of all, I kind of need them to stop digging in their own well so much. What I mean by that is we have this story and it starts off with Aladdin and Jafar. And there's a key plot point where Dr. Hyde tells Emma that if she is going to follow this red bird to find out why she having these flashbacks that's not really her flashbacks. Well, we know whose bird that is. We know that's Jafar's bird. We know that's Iago. Iago. However you pronounce it. So, when you're led to this woman and he's a sorcerer, I'm like, okay, well, I know that's just Jafar in disguise. Like, that type of stuff. At the first few seasons, y'all was really doing good with, like, say, for example... Rumpelstiltskin also being the beast and being the crocodile. Like, that shit was clever. This, that was just too damn obvious. And I think y'all starting to dig in y'all own well a little bit too much. And it's making stuff obvious. So, we start off with this big first, big speech about Jafar telling... Um, Aladdin, I guess Aladdin was a savior at some point, that saviors never have happy endings, blah, 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 etc. And I'm like, okay, well, obviously this is going to tie back to Emma, but why do I have some kind of feeling that, like, is she going to be, like, Aladdin reincarnated or is going to have something to do with that and that shit's going to piss me off. I'm just going through the shit that kind of made me mad. First, and I'm getting to the good stuff because I'm going to tell you where the episode got me back to. Because at first, I was going to be like, oh, well, at least it took y'all till season six to fall off. Not like season four, like almost every other show I like. But, um, so I didn't like that follow the red bird, and I knew that was Aego. So I'm like, <clears throat> um,. This land of untold stories, something else. That came at the end and it got me back, but I also felt like it was predictable when Henry came to Regina and was like, I don't think that Robin is gone forever and this and this and this and this. You think that Robin may be in the land of untold stories because his story didn't finish. He didn't get his happy ending because he was taken away from Regina. Super obvious. Kind of disappointed in that. I'm like, yeah, I expect to see you. Y'all go on IMDb and check all that for me. I'll be trying not to do that. Like, I got After Buzz pause because I'm like, let me do my video first because they'll go on IMDb and all that and be like, Robin Hood is coming back. We've seen his name in the credits and I don't want that. But I think he in the land of unfinished stories. I do. Um, now let me talk about, oh, these special effects. Like, if Game of Thrones got that kind of money and y'all doing Marvel movies, why is the special effects on here? When they went, when Mr. Gold went to the Isle of Morpheus, the Castle of Morpheus, whatever that was, I was like, okay, green screen much? Like, real obvious? Like, the table and everything was green screen? I'm like, oh, okay, well, it better be some boss ass, um, well, a big boss bottle, a big boss battle just got all the money because that CGI was horrific. Um, but the stuff that got me back. 
the speaking of the storyline with Bell and Gold. Now I'm gonna tell you, I'm sitting there watching the episode. I'm kind of half-ass watching it because I'm like, okay, yawn, yawn. Like I said, the red bird. I'm like, obvious. When they had said like he was Morpheus and he was traveling into, you know, he was guiding him. You got an hour, and at the end, the dude was like, oh, cause you sprinkled it on me too, and um, I'm gonna wake her up with true love's kiss, cause I'm y'all son. Baby, when I tell you, I was just like. Slow clap. Yeah. Y'all just got me all the way back in with that. Because I was about to be like, oh, am I going to have to leave this show to the wayside like so many others? Mm -mm. They did that. I'm like, oh, that was slick. I like that. I don't know where else that storyline is going to go. But that was dope. Um, the other thing I was looking at is I'm like, Belle don't look too pregnant, though. Like, her stomach was looking like. Not puffed up for somebody that's supposed to be that pregnant. I think she was pregnant in real life and now she's just losing the baby weight. But she's still supposed to be pregnant. Can I get a stomach? Um, what else did I really, really, really like? I liked the little scene where Regina was talking to Snow White. And was just like, I was a horrible stepmother to you. And they was kind of having that bond a moment because she like... You who gave me hope. Because I realized I didn't have nobody else. So you actually are the one that taught me that hope is a choice. I like that. That was very nice. I didn't like that Zelina was mad at Regina for getting rid of the evil queen. That was the thing that we had that was the most in common. Like, But y'all do realize those are personalities that y'all chose. So she's still your sister. And she's still Regina. She's just... Eliminated the evil from herself the same way you doing because you raising a baby just because she physically manifestly did it because y'all live in a world of magic. So that's not what y'all had the most in common. What y'all had the most in common was y'all ratchet ass horrible mother that made y'all like that. That's what y'all have most in common. Y'all still have that in common. You lucked out. You got abandoned. So you wasn't even as bad off as Regina. But I digress. Um. At the end, I was kind of living for the little apple teeny moment. Because that is something that, like, I loved that. I forgot what season that was when Zelina first came in. You know, Snow White, Evil Queen, Red Apples. And then, like, the you know, Wicked Witch of the West is all about green. So, like, it was the green apple sitting on the table. Like, I love how they flipped that. So, when she came in, she had the apple martinis with the green apples ready to go. Like... Your sister's still here. Come on, it's time for us to do some sisterly bonding like Zelina about to be in some shit again. I didn't know if I was going to like Zelina being good anyway. I think she, because especially if Regina is separated. So, I really think it's some mess about to go down with this land of untold stories. And I really, really think, I think Robin is there. I think they mama might be there. Um... But that's going to be real interesting. I wish Neil would come back. That'd be awesome. I'm I'm sorry. I know y'all love Emma and Captain Hook. I don't. I still want her to be with Neil. Even though they just keep telling me Neil is dead. But now I'm feeling like Regina. Like I don't believe y'all. Neil is still here. I don't believe y'all. Neil is still around. I feel, feel, <coughs> feel like Regina and Robin. Like Neil's still here. She's going to be with Neil. She's going to be with Neil. I'm in denial. But um. Overall, not a bad first episode. I've definitely liked that they brought in Jekyll and Hyde, even though they separated now. I like when they bring in other stories that are not exclusively Disney properties. Because like I said, the way y'all do those, it starts becoming predictable. And then y'all bring in ones that I'm like, what do that got to do with the price of corn? Because I hate it Frozen. I hate it when they brought in Frozen. I really hate it when they brought in Brave. I really hated that. Like, and, you know, y'all be going to New York and stuff. And I say this every time I do a review of this TV show. And this is the first time I'm going to do it every week. But, um, y'all obviously going to the real world. Y'all in Storybrooke, man. Y'all have been in New York. Can I get Tiana? Can something happen in New Orleans and Tiana got to come there? Can I get Tiana, please? Because it is 
awfully light, bright, and damn near white. Well, shit, ain't no damn near light, bright, and all the way white in Storybrooke. Can I please, please, please get Princess Tiana? Just a thought. And y'all should be able to do some way more inventive stuff with that. Like, I'm curious to see how they're going to use Aladdin and what else is going to be in this land of untold stories. But that just rubbed me the wrong way, y'all, when they went with Follow the Red Bird. Because at first I misheard and I thought they were saying Follow the Red Dirt. And then when I realized they said the Red Bird, I'm like, so Iago? Like, you know we all know that's Jafar's bird, right? Like, I don't know. We'll just see. Like, I'm not going to abandon it. Hell, if I could watch Weeds all the way to the eighth season, I can definitely stick with this. But um, these will be episodes that will probably be, if y'all watch any of my other reviews, they're usually pretty fast as soon as the shows come on. But this one is going to be behind because it comes on during football. So, it is what it is. Um, But let me know what y'all thought. Um, like I said, my major prediction is that Robin is in the land of untold stories in some kind of way. It's going to be his love that fixes Regina or gets rid of the evil queen or realizes that's a part of you and they fuse back together and she just suppress it again. It's going to be something, but I feel like Robin is in that land of untold stories because they had that little Forrest Gump moment at the end where the feather finally fell. Well, now you looking for Robin and all these people that came back and all of a sudden the feather landed. I've been watching this show long enough, y'all. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment below. Let me know what y'all think. I'm trying to be kind of quiet because it's, it's a gentle time of morning. And I actually have to go to bed because I got to work tomorrow. So mwah, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this episode. Let me know if I missed anything. I love hearing from my viewers. I love hearing from my subscribers because I like to have a conversation. I don't like to just sit here and talk in front of the camera. Like, let me know if you agree or disagree. Let's kiki on it. So, good morning and deuces.